All right, guys, Chris collects things. Back at it with another Pokemon TCG opening. Today's opening, we're going to look at this lovely Hidden Fates tin Charizard version. So, the backstory behind this is I got, I ended up being able to order two off of the Pokemon Center website after much turmoil. Basically, the servers kept crashing. I don't know if it's because of bots or just like, the sheer amount of people that were trying to uh, get these puppies, but I basically, I feel like it felt like an hour. I kept refreshing. Uh, I got kept going back, getting a little closer each time to check out, and then I tried PayPal once and then somehow skipped out of PayPal and then went back to regular checkout and still had it in my cart. And I don't know, just kept refreshing, go back, refresh, blah, blah, blah. And then long story short, I somehow was able to process the order. And then even then I was still skeptical until I got the official email and then tracking information. And then it showed up a couple days later. And well, here it is. Like I said, I ended up getting two of these. But one of them I'm saving for a buddy of mine because he wasn't lucky enough to, to get his order to go through. But he was able to get the Raichu one, which I was not. So we're going to do a little tradesy and I'll open up that Raichu one. Not sure when because I haven't seen this particular friend due to COVID in almost a year at this point. We talk... We talk almost daily, but yeah, and I don't feel like shipping it. So next time I see him, we'll do our little exchange Pikachu, sorry, Raichu for Charizard, and then I'll be able to open that one. But until then, I'm going to keep his safe and sound in my lair. So without further ado, let's open this. Now, this is going to be my first Hidden Fates opening. I missed it when it first came out. And I haven't had much luck getting anything Hidden Fates until this tin became available on Pokemon Center. Uh, I know I see individual packs all the time, but we're talking like $10, $11 a pop. So this this tin had to be, I'm not sure if it was 20 or 24 Somewhere around there, but I believe there should be four, yep, four Hidden Fates booster packs and one of the three foils, the Charizard, the Gyarados, the Raichu. Don't, wasn't, didn't have much luck with the Gyarados. I don't know if I tried for the Gyarados one or not, but I know I tried for the Raichu and I wasn't able to get through there. And the Charizard was the toughest, so I don't know how I got that one, so. <laughs> Whatever, let's open it. This nice little uh, honeycomb background. There is the Charizard GX promo. We're going to case this bad Larry. I'm going to get him out with hopefully not too much problems. Pro proceeds to have plenty of problems with it. So we got a code card in the back, but here's the Charizard GX. Hidden Fates, he's got a little bend to him, but let's see the, uh, looks pretty good to me, the centering and all that. But yeah, there's that promo. I'm sure this guy's worth a pretty penny at some point, if not now. We're going to penny sleeve that guy. And most likely put him in a hard casing later. But he can foresee our opening. All right. So the Hidden Fates. It's a little different. Usually they use plastic on the tins that I've got. But you got a little paper thing there. The little honeycomb thing. I've been seeing these going on either Facebook Marketplace or... I don't know, Mercari or eBay for 60, 60 and up. 
So getting it at retail is probably the cheapest I'll get Hidden Fates at least. For a while. I don't know if Shining Fates will bring down the original Hidden Fates or if people are still going to be searching for it, but here's all the pack arts. We get the Shiny Mewtwo, Charizard, The Birds, and Mew. They missed out on the Shiny Mew there. I believe it's light blue. So, without further ado, where do we start? Let's start with my boy Mew and work all the way to Shiny Mewtwo. <clears throat> So yeah, first Hidden Fates opening should be pretty exciting. Uh, I do have some shiny, what is it, Shining Star V coming up as I'm massacring this pack because I want to keep the pack art, but no more scissor trick for me because I was butchering that last time. Oh, well, that's all right. I like to stick, in a future video, I like to stick these, tape them to like my Binder dividers, so I like see like the pack arts there. So once I collect all four, I'll, I'll do that. This one's a little, a little brutalized, but whatever. Hidden fates. I'm hoping the card tricks four. I guess we're gonna find out. One, two, three, four, and then guess an energy. Assuming there is an energy. <laughs> Water. All right, I did do it right. Lightning. I do like this little uh, metal-looking background here. Scyther, Magmar, Charmeleon, <clears throat> Ekans, Paris, Char Char, Apoke, Psyduck. It seems like there's a lot of cards in this. Okay, first shiny. I will take it. A shiny rock rough. Very nice. From the shiny vault. And a non hollow electrode. That's a bit womp, but we'll take the shiny rock rough. We will take it. Put that in a place of honor over there. So, our first shine, Hidden Fates packs. Again, this is the trick I've been doing. I like to put the cards back in the pack so then when I go to put them in a binder <clears throat> I just take them out of the pack and put them in the, I don't know just keeps them organized a little better quick tip I don't know next is the birds the birds let's hope I chose wisely which tin I guess we'll see what my friend if he opens his he might not if he opens it, let's see if I chose wisely with the one I chose. I, I didn't put any thought into it. <laughs> Just kind of grabbed one from the box. and was like, yeah, I'm opening Hidden Fates today because I want to. And that was it. Four. All right. Uh, grass energy. Leaf energy. Water. Magmar. Scyther. Brock's Grit. Isn't there plenty of Brock's Grit in like, Evolutions and wherever that originally originated? Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Akans. Is that an Articuno in the background? That is. That's interesting. I like that. I just noticed that. Did not notice that the first time. Paris. A reverse hollow steel energy and a non holographic Lapras. So, two packs into our, I want to say Shining Fates, Hidden Fates adventure. Kind of underwhelming. I mean, the shiny's nice. I wanted at least one shiny Pokemon, is what I was telling myself. So, I will take that. But I was kind of hoping for more, to be honest with you. But we still have two packs to go. And as I'm flum, flumble, fl fumbling around with this, uh, maybe I'll get some more individual packs in the future. I know Troll and Toad has them. I think it's like 11 bucks a pop, though. So I'd like a better deal than that. But I guess if I have a hankering for it and a less need for money, then I'll do that. 
I'll buy, I don't know, 100 bucks worth and see what happens. I said Mewtwo for last, but I'm thinking Charizard for last. Let's let's weigh these out. I feel about even. They both they all feel pretty heavy in my opinion. Alright, we're just gonna go with Mewtwo. Alright, last two packs. Let's see if we can get some redemption here. And we do have a shiny Pokemon, so that's very cool. But I want more than that. I want the gold. Where the gold at? I want the gold. All right. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Fire. Leaf. I feel like I keep saying, like, conflicting energy types. I don't know. I feel like I got, like, I was like, oh, water, and I get electric, and whatever. <laughs> Graveler. Fetched. Jinx blowing us a smooch. Caterpie. Charmander. I feel like I got a bunch of Charmanders. Clefairy. Psyduck. The Carp. A Reverse Hollow Koga's Trap. And a Holographic Misty's Water Command Trainer. So of the 68 cards... I don't know if that includes the Shining Vault. I'm guessing it doesn't. It doesn't because Shining Vault, looking at that rock rough. Here's something I'm going to point out. I was looking at Bubble Bulbapedia as the decks if it's in focus here. Shining Vault, 23 out of 94. So there's 94 Shining Vault Pokemon. And I don't know if that includes any secret rares or whatever. All right. I mean, it's Misty. Misty's cool. It's a holographic. Uh, I'll take it. I mean, I mean, my last video I had like a Shining Charizard V. So I mean, anything's gonna feel a bit underwhelming besides that. Regardless, so we're also gonna case Kogas. I like to case even if it's a Reverse Hollows. I usually put them in the binder, but I'll put them in the case. This I'll actually point out like like look how big look at how big this case is compared to this like tiny card. I would uh normally prefer the more tighter feeling uh penny sleeves, but whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Beggars can't be choosers. Alright, last pack magic here. Let's summon something amazing. Wah, 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 wah. Let's go. I wish I could go to school for like opening packs so I could like not massacre them as much. But that's why I tried with the scissor technique, but like I also don't want to damage my cards like an idiot, so <laughs> there's always that. I'm going Fighting Energy. I already decided. Steel. Graveler. Fetched. Jinx. Pika. That's a pretty good looking Pika. Carp. Coughing. Clefairy. Star U. A Reverse Hollow. Fairy Energy, Mr. Mime. Looking cool. And... You see a little glint here, some glint in the background. We have a Pinsir GX. All right, I'll take it. We get a GX card, a Pinsir. Hidden Fates. I'll take it. Not really, not really any of the big bangers here, but decent opening. Decent opening. Put our Pinsir in the wall here and... We're, that video, that's it. Unfortunately, there's only four packs. Um, the Epic Trainer boxes for this set. <sighs> Get one for like 120, 130, you're looking good. As opposed to like a 49.99 MSRP, like that's over 200% increase. Like, I don't know, I can't justify that right now. I'd rather buy individual packs for that rate because I'm thinking like uh, ETBs usually have eight, but the secret. The special sets have 10, I think. So you could get... Granted, you don't get that sweet 
stained glass birds promo card, but right now on Troll and Toad, you could probably get ten for less, ten packs for less than an ETB if they're going right. If it's like eleven dollars, you're looking at like one ten. I don't know about shipping. So it'd be about the same. So I guess, I guess if you can find a Hidden Fates ETB right now, in January twenty twenty one. Around 120, that's probably the best deal you're gonna get. Anyways, like, comment, stay safe, be friendly, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.